Steph Curry has spent his entire career with Golden State, but it's pretty well documented that he actually wanted to be drafted by the Knicks. What if this actually happened? At the end of the first season, LeBron James was named MVP, Blake Griffin was named Rookie of the Year, and we did not see Steph Curry named to any All-NBA teams, but we're very early in Curry's career. We started this off in the LeBron era, so Curry did have one season under his belt before I sent him to New York to start playing. But we went 49-33 and this year, ended up making it as the four seed, and already we're going to a game seven against the Orlando Magic. This Magic team, of course, has Dwight Howard, but nobody else too crazy, so maybe we can make this happen and go to round two. But if we're going to do it, we're going to have to earn it. We're up three points here in game seven with a little over a minute 30 to go. Curry's going to give it to Amari Stoudemire. Stoudemire's in the post. He's getting clamped by Dwight Howard. So he's going to swing it to Raymond Felton. Felton's getting clamped. He stepped out of bounds. All right. Great start here, but we're still up three. We got a decent little cushion, I guess. Jameer Nelson has it, trying to work on Steph Curry and get a bucket. Nelson working his way to the basket, gets Curry up in the air, but Curry's able to recover and snag the rebound. Man, I thought Nelson had a nice chance to score there, but Curry was able to recover, and now we've got a chance to extend our lead. We're going to do exactly that. Steph Curry to Amari Stoudemire for an easy dunk. A little over a minute to go in the game. Jameer Nelson has it. Nelson and Dwight Howard's just going to get a two right back off the Jameer Nelson dime. And the Knicks still up three points here. Three point shot is up. We're going to miss. And all of a sudden, the Magic have a chance to tie the game with the three pointer. Jameer Nelson has it. Trying to work his way to the basket. He's going to force up a bad shot. Steph Curry with the rebound. Curry. It looked like the Knicks might have had a little fast break there, but instead, Curry is going to get fouled and we're going to have to pass the ball in once again. Now we're in the bonus. Desmond Mason is going to the free throw line where he knocks down two big shots to put us up five. If they miss here, we're in a good spot. But if JJ Redick is wide open, we are not. Redick is going to knock down the three. And the Magic are back within two. Steph Curry, one of the greatest free throw shooters ever, steps up to the line, knocks down both. We're back up by four. But man, if they hit another three here, things could get ugly. Jameer Nelson, good luck. Oh my goodness. The magic going crazy in clutch time. And now we need some more free throws. I don't know why we're not going to Steph Curry, but shout out to Desmond Mason. Magic within three after back-to-back -back big three-pointers. Does Jameer Nelson have another one in him? Does J.J. Redick have another one in him? They're going to give it to Redick. He passes out of the shot over to Rashard Lewis. That's a tough three. He's going to miss it, and the rebound is secure. Ronnie Turioff at the line, and he's going to miss the first. At least hit one of these for me, and we should be okay here. Just knock down one, and he does. We're still up by four. Less than five seconds to go. Yeah, we're good. Jameer Nelson just going to throw one up from half court that almost went in, but it wouldn't have mattered anyway. We secured the W. Shout out to Amari Stoudemire, 28 points. Steph Curry, only 13 points. Would like a little bit more from him. I know it's young Curry, but come on now. We need Steph to get a few more buckets for us in a big game seven regardless we moved on so no harm no foul and we're going on to face the miami heat a early lebron james versus steph curry matchup now bron definitely has the upper hand here with the miami heat big three but we're gonna take an early two to one lead heat going into game four will get the dub in game five they're gonna win again a devastating L there, a six game series loss. LeBron James goes on to win the chip and finals MVP. But overall, I would say it was a solid year one run. And in the off season, we picked up Melo. All right, man, we're kind of cooking. I guess 2K got the script. We got Steph, we got Melo, we got Amari. New big three in the Big Apple. If you're a Knicks fan, this is, this is probably a beautiful video for you to be watching, seeing all these stars on your squad. Speaking of stars, there's Steph Curry, named to the All-NBA second team, took a huge leap this year, averaged 25 points per game. In the first round, we're going to be taking on the Milwaukee Bucks. 
They've got an okay team, Brandon Jennings, Andrew Bogut, but I think our big three is better. I don't care that we're the worst seed. We're going to go ahead and sweep them. We move on to round two against Chicago, and man, this Bulls team, they're, they're definitely dangerous. We'll see if we can take them down. Game one goes to them. Game two goes to them. Uh-oh. It's getting ugly. We're down three to zero. We get swept by the Chicago Bulls. Steph Curry kind of dropped off a bit in terms of his numbers in the NBA playoffs, which is unfortunate to see. OKC goes on to win a chip led by Russell Westbrook. In the offseason, Steph Curry establishes himself as the best player on the team at a 93 overall, and we head into another season hopeful to win an NBA championship. We do see Steph Curry named to the All-NBA first team this year, so clearly he is one of the top players in the entire association. We won 57 games on the year. I think that is our best season to date. We also picked up Yao Ming for the squad, so that's kind of interesting. But in round number one, we're taking on the Brooklyn Nets. That's going to be an easy sweep. Round two, we got Chicago. This is our chance to get revenge against Derrick Rose and company in round number two. Last year, they swept us. Hopefully this year, we at least don't get swept. Game one goes to us. Game two goes to them. Game three goes to us. There we go. We're up three to one. Oh, Chicago. They're looking to come back down 3-1. Can Derrick Rose and company pull it off? Yes, they can. Steph Curry blows a 3-1 lead in the second round and drops 14 points. No, Steph. That, that, we can't be doing that, man. We can't be doing that. Miami goes on to win a chip. Braun averages a triple-double in the NBA Finals. But Steph, you got to have a revenge season this year, man. We need it from you because last year blowing a 3-1, that's kind of crazy. There's the guy who pulled off the 3-1 comeback winning the MVP. We also haven't seen Steph take home an MVP yet. Now, granted, it's early on in the video, but I'd like to see Steph doing something, you know, going ahead and getting that MVP award. He is named to the All-NBA third team, so that's good. We ended up making it as the second seed, 55 wins on the season. Solid, solid, but we're really more worried about the playoffs at this point. We're going to lose to the to the Cleveland Cavaliers where we have 3-1 against them too. Wow. Wow, Steph. It, it, it's getting ugly out here, man. It's getting ugly. They got Jimmy Butler and Anthony Davis, but it, it's getting ugly, bro. We got we to gotta do something. We got to bounce back in a big way, start winning championships or something, and maybe Corey Jones can help us. He's up to an 87 overall in year three. He was the 22nd pick. Oh, okay, maybe he can cook for us because we definitely need some help. Derrick Rose takes home another MVP. Jokic is with D. Rose, bro. And that's not fair. That's not fair. They were the number one seed last year. How did they manage to get Nikola Jokic? Because in the draft class, they got Jokic really good. It's not like he's getting drafted during Taco Bell commercials in 2K. You know what I mean? But anyway, we were the number two seed this year. Steph Curry made all NBA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We won 57 games. We're going to go ahead and sweep the Celtics. Move on to round number two against the Detroit Pistons. This Pistons team sucks, bro. If we lose to a team led by DeAndre Jordan, I, I don't even know what to say. They're going to take game one. They're going to take game two. We're going to take game three. You, you got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. We lost to that Pistons team. Chicago and Derrick Rose go on to win another NBA championship. But yeah, man, that Pistons team sucks. Steph Curry dropped seven points in an elimination game. Steph, man, it's getting ugly, bro. You got to start putting the league on notice or something. I mean, Corey Jones, he's starting to get real nice. Sadly, Amari Stoudemire's regressing, but Steph definitely has the team to make it happen and win an NBA championship. I mean, at this point, we're at 2016 and Steph is ringless. By this point in time, Steph Curry would have won the 2015 NBA championship, which I, I guess it's one ring, you know. But anyway, he already had a championship by now. So Curry, let's get it done this year, man. Round number one, taking on the Miami Heat, and Steph's going to have a tough time. We're going to a game seven here against Miami. And in game seven, luckily, we did not lose to an eight seed because then things would have got even worse. I mean, Steph, he didn't play that well. 15 points on the night, but we were able to get the dub. We move on to round two, taking on the Washington Wizards. This team is pretty okay, but definitely not better than us. That's how it felt about a lot of teams that we played. But they're still giving us comp. We're going to have a tough road to the finals as we're headed to a game seven here against Washington. 
Luckily, we're able to get the win. We win by 26 points, you know, quick math, yeah. And Steph Curry drops 56 with 14 assists. Oh, man, Steph, that's what we need from you in elimination games. We're moving on. If we lose to DeAndre Jordan two years in a row, I won't know what to say. Let's go ahead and get him out of here. There we go. That is a six-game series win. Boom, we're in the NBA Finals taking on the Jazz with Kawhi Gordon Hayward and Darren Williams. Yeah, their team looks cool, I guess. They take game one. We take game two. Bro, don't lose to Utah now. Series is tied up at two apiece, headed into game five. In game number five, we're going to win by 17. Shout out to Steph, 29 and 12. Really solid game. Game six, chance for Steph to get ring number one, and he's going to do exactly that. Curry, he ends up dropping 24 for a nice win and his first ever NBA championship. Steph wins the finals MVP as well. But in the offseason, we got to start worrying about regression. Raymond Felton and Amari Stoudemire are low-key falling off. So we've got to make something happen. If we want to stack up these rings, we kind of got to do it quickly. Ben Simmons with the Brooklyn Nets winning rookie of the year. Damian Lillard, sixth man of the year with the Golden State Warriors. Dame never does too well in the re-simulations. He never really reaches the potential he reached in real life. There's Steph making the All-NBA first team. Still no MVPs for Mr. Curry just yet. We're the number two seed this year looking to repeat as NBA champions. Round number one against the Atlanta Hawks. They're going to give us a little bit of trouble here. We're going to a game seven. Who do they even have? They're led by Al Horford. If we lose to Al Horford, I, I, I don't even know, man. And how is Compazzo already on the team? I, I didn't know he was in the league at this point in time. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and get a 28 point. Oh, there you go, Steph. 53 and 11, bro. Steph has been hooping in some of these elimination games now. He was selling before, but he he's, in he's on a different level now. We're moving on to round two, taking on the Sixers. They're led by Drew Holiday. They don't look too crazy. We're going to sweep them. We're in the conference finals, taking on Derrick Rose and the Chicago Bulls. They got Jokic, Blake Griffin. I, it, it's a good team, man. I mean, Derrick Rose, Jokic, Blake, they're going to take game one. We'll take game two. We'll take game three. Come on, man. Let's get to the NBA finals. We're taking on the Grizzlies, who have LeBron, Brad Beal, and Mark Gasol, the super team back at it game number one is gonna go to us game two goes to us uh oh bron bron we're up 3-0 and we're gonna win a championship shout out to steph finals mvp two championships in a row for curry but amari he continues to get worse he is down to an 80 overall raymond felton's a 77 so steph he's gonna have to really hoop if he wants to win three in a row Jokic won MVP, bro, and they probably still have Derrick Rose. Corey Jones, shout out to him, won DPOY with us. Yeah. Oh, D Rose went to OKC. Oh, that's kind of crazy. But Steph Curry, he makes the All NBA second team. There's Jeremy Lin on the All NBA third team. I kind of want to do a Jeremy Lin LeBron era video because he kind of goes crazy in these Sims, and I think it would be a fun video to do. Anyway, round number one, we're going to beat the Philadelphia 76ers in five games. And round two, we get swept wept by the Washington Wizards. I did not expect that at all. That's why I just pressed Sim round real quick. But Steph Curry, yeah, man, a uh, playoff sell, 4 or 15 shooting, only 10 points in an elimination game. That's not going to cut it. And the Wizards go on to make the finals. Carl Anthony Towns, though, takes him down for the Mavs and wins an NBA championship with the finals MVP. That's crazy. Amari Stoudemire down to a 77 overall. Man, it's not looking good. Luka Doncic ends up on the Atlanta Hawks in this sim. That's kind of funny, you know, because they traded the picks or whatever. But yeah, Luka's an Atlanta Hawk in the simulation. Also, we do go ahead and see Steph Curry on the All-NBA second team right alongside NBA legend Dennis Schroeder as we head into another NBA playoff. Steph Curry looking to capture ring number three. We've had a couple of rough years after Steph took home two championships in a row. And this is going to be another one of those rough years. So we lose in six to Jeremy Lin. Man, what, what did I tell y'all? Jeremy Lin goes crazy in The Sims. He would be a really fun player to make a video on, in my opinion. I, I'm, a, I'm a big Jeremy Lin fan. I read I read a book about him. It's called Lin Sanity. I think that's what the book's called. I mean, I'm sure y'all are aware of Lin Sanity, but, it, you know, I was in my nerd bag one day as a kid, and I read the book. Read the book a couple times. Anyway, y'all probably don't care. 
Carl Anthony Towns MVP is crazy. 92 overall. He's going crazy in the sim. But also, I just want to say reading books does not make you a nerd, man. It, may, it really makes you intelligent if you're out there reading books. I, I need to pick up some books, start reading. I was thinking about reading um David Goggins' book, bro. You know, because he, he's always going crazy, lifting weights. He's like, they don't know me, son. I, I think it'd be a fun book to read. Anyway, we went 49 and 33 on the season. Round number one, we're taking on the Charlotte Hornets. Come on, Steph. Come Come on, Steph. You you gotta lock in game seven here against Charlotte. And in game seven, we're gonna get handed an L by the Charlotte Hornets. Steph Curry, an okay game, I guess, but man, th these past couple years have just been rough after those championships. Amari fell off crazily. He's down to a 75 overall. I don't know why he's on the basketball team. Miles Turner finals MVP. What is happening? Steph Curry, best player on the team, of course. Melo starting to regress. Amari's not on the squad anymore, but there's Jordan Poole. Don't worry, Draymond's not here. You're safe. JP at 21 with that beard is crazy. But anyway, Jokic goes ahead and wins an MVP. Dame, I'm sorry, Heat fans, but there he is. He's on Miami here in this simulation. Steph Curry makes it on the All-NBA second team. Lonzo made the first team over him. That's really just Steph with a 40-inch vertical. Shout out Mike Korzemba. Round number one, we are going to be taking on whoever comes out of the play-in tournament as we're the two seed this year. And it's going to be the Chicago Bulls. Can we take them down? Yes, we can. We're going to go ahead and beat them in five games. Round two, we got the Cleveland Cavaliers. They've got Jason Tatum. He's in subway commercials just like Steph Curry, but Curry's better. He's moving on to the conference finals, looking to get ring number three. We're taking on Brooklyn. They've got Ben. They've got Ja. It's a pretty okay team. Game number one and two are going to go to the Nets. We'll take game three. The Nets are up three to one. It's not looking good, and we end up losing in five games. Anthony Davis wins a championship with the Clippers. That's kind of weird to see. Steph had a good playoff run for us, but ultimately it wasn't enough. And now the team's just kind of getting worse year by year. So I'm not too sure. Steph's really just going to have to carry. Jokic takes home another MVP. He's got to have like at least four by now. Jeremy Lin takes home a six man of the year. Shout out to Jeremy Lin there. Steph Curry, all NBA first team this year. I said he needed to have a crazy year and he did exactly that. Averaging 30 points per game on the season. And we needed those points. We won less than 50 games this season. We ended up being the four seed in the Eastern Conference. Round number one, we're taking on Cleveland and it's going to be a tough series here. We're headed to a game seven against the Cavs. And in this game seven, we're going to be taking on a team that's got Paul George. Oh yeah, they got Miles Turner. Miles Turner was a finals MVP earlier in the video. That, that, that was wild. But in this game seven, we're going to lose to Cleveland. A first round exit. Steph Curry, he, his numbers dropped down a little bit in the playoffs, but... I'm not going to blame this one on him. I think at this point, the supporting cast just isn't really where it needs to be. And the Jazz are going to win an NBA championship led by Kawhi. There's Deion Waiters hooping still. But yeah, Kawhi's going to win a championship for Utah. The team is pretty trash. We picked up Frank Nilakina. Corey Jones is starting to regress. And this is our final season of the video. We're in the modern day 2023 NBA awards here. So we'll see if Steph can pull off some type of miracle run and make a championship happen. I mean, this year he wasn't even all NBA at all on the season, which is crazy to see. But we still made it into the playoffs. We somehow won 52 games. Curry's numbers weren't as crazy as they've been in some previous seasons. But hey, I mean, over 50 wins is not too shabby if I do say so myself. Round number one, we're taking on the Milwaukee Bucks. And we're going to make it out of round one in a gentleman's sweep. All right, man, maybe Steph's cooking. We're taking on the Pistons. This team's crazy. They've got LaMelo. They've got Trey. That, that's a nice team. And it looks like they're better than us. We're going to lose in five games. Detroit takes us down. Luka Doncic is going to win an NBA championship to end off the video. But this was a fun video. You know, Steph Curry did win two NBA championships. And as always, I enjoy bringing the content to y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe. Have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.